Well, there's a lot of good play, a lot of skill in the GPL. What is your assessment of the Global Poker League so far? Here we are in week five. I mean, I like it. There's been some great poker. That's a fact. Yeah, I mean, uh, of course I'm biased because uh, I'm one of the managers. But realistically, I think it's, uh, I mean, just my game. If I would have played this, this heads-up match seven weeks ago, I wouldn't have played this good. I would have. I would have probably made many more mistakes. I wouldn't have had uh, the creativity that I had while I was playing. And just by watching those guys uh, face up, uh, that, that really helped a lot. And, uh, you know, I'm not think that now I'm a great uh, older player, but uh, surely, you know, if you put uh, fantasy and determination, even if you don't have a huge experience in, in that uh, specialty, you know, I, I could be competitive. You're the captain of the Rome Emperors. I mean, I'm looking at your roster now. You've got Mustafa Kinnett, Dario Sammartino, Timothy Adams, Walter Tricarci, Max Pescatore, yourself, and, of course, Todd Brunson. Can you run down the team? I mean, there's some pretty good talent there, isn't there? Oh, I think we are arguably the most uh, talented team. Um, I'm also biased on that. But, I mean, Mustafa has been doing incredible. So, uh, you know, he's been doing uh, this for... For now, almost three years, I think this is the third year that he's just on a roll, uh, both online and live. So he, I think he won like 10 million in, in the last three years. Uh, so it's unbelievable. San Martino is, uh, you know, one of a very talented guy, not as known as the other ones, but uh, he also plays uh, the high rollers. And he's well respected. Last year, he had a great Monte Carlo with, uh, with two final table in two high roller events. And I think he's still in the main event uh, today. Then there is uh, Walter Trekariki, who was uh, a pick more to uh, maybe favor uh, the fact that uh, he was uh, court in the, in the Global Poker Index in Italy. And uh, I felt like it was cool to reward someone that has been doing good in the last few years and is less known. But, uh, you know, and then I came here. In Monte Carlo, he won a big tournament here, too. He won the French Poker Series High Roller. Then uh, Tim Adams is another high stakes uh, high roller player. Uh, he really impressed me. Even if he lost twice in the, in the heads up, uh, I thought he played wonderful. And he was just uh, unlucky. And then there is Todd Bronson, which he was, uh, as they told me, you know, a strange pick. But, you know, I'm friends with Todd, and I thought, for three reasons, I took him one because he's a big name and so he will bring a, a different kind of uh, fans to the global poker league uh, second because i think he's just a pure talented poker player and you know he even if uh, just like me it's we're mostly mixed mixed games he can just uh, uh, you know watch and learn and, and then come through big time and the third one was because the finals are a little bit different there are three against three with the, with the cards that you see uh, of your opponents. And so it's something that people haven't talked about it yet. But yet, I think Todd will be a good value to understand where are the edges and where to push uh, those edges alive. And even if we might not play, we might be the one that are there just uh, try to try to get uh, our uh, top three guys uh, in, a, in a perfect spot to actually win the whole thing. The only problem that we have to qualify, we have to finish top four. So, you know, so far we haven't done well, but it's also because of clear bad runs.